Good. Looks like a foul on the rebound on number 21 on Academy of Art University. That's Jasmine Green. We got four seconds. Point Loma takes it. Roya takes a shot from the back. No good, hits the backboard. All right, it looks like we got an interesting uh, first period here. Point Loma's been playing well. Um, it seems that they're having trouble on offense, penetrating the defense on Academy of Art. That's just something that we got to work on to loosen up that area a little bit, try to get some more points. It looks like Point Loma we're gonna go to one point. We're gonna go to Academy Melissa, the courtside reporter. Hey guys, I'm Melissa Fox here on the court with the Green Sea. Junior Alexis Dragonitis. Alexis, are you here supporting anyone in particular? I am here supporting Anna V. She is an amazing point guard. And how do you know Anna? Uh, we are great friends from Intramurals. That's so exciting. And do you come to like all the games? All the games. I love Point Loma Sea Lions. Go athletes. <laughs> well, you heard it from her. Point Loma Sea Lions are well loved and we're here on the court supporting them today. Back to you guys at the desk. Thanks, Melissa. That was uh, Melissa Fox, our courtside reporter with the Green Sea, who uh, love Point Loma, so it's good to have them out at the game. Hey Point Loma, welcome to Loma Sports Tonight Live. We have live coverage for you all of the men's basketball game. I'm Marissa Hornaday, and we are <laughs> <laughs> the, the boys are taking on Academy of the Art tonight. Uh, they had a recent Miss. Uh, unfortunate game against APU on the road, so let's see how they do tonight at home. Yeah, we're heading down to the court in just a couple minutes. We have a, a few of our reporters down there, uh, Diana Aguilar, Connor Larson, and uh, Jake Spawn, Jake, Jack Spawn, sorry. They're all going to um, fill in all the information for you guys about the game, give you updates as it occurs. So let's head down to the court and get into the game. Uh, well. Thanks, Ross and Marissa. Welcome to Golden Gymnasium. Tonight, for the matchup between Point Loma and Academy of Art, I'm Connor Larson alongside my partner, Jack Spawn, for the night. Uh, we're really excited to get going, huh, Jack? Yeah, really excited. It's going to be a good matchup tonight. You know, it's interesting. Point Loma actually is only suiting seven players tonight. They've really had the injury bug lately, which is kind of unfortunate down the stretch when you look forward to try to make playoffs. And now they're coming out with the starting lineup for the Point Loma Sea Lions here. Starting at guard. Jack Landlord, who is a freshman with not much time, who's had a step in a role recently. Josh Rodriguez also will be starting at guard as well. Well, he's pretty much the key to the team as we noted earlier before the anthem. Aaron Rodel is also a player who hasn't had significant time. He's had to step into a pretty large role since the injuries started occurring. Mike Planetta, former professional baseball player, will also be playing tonight. He's a very athletic player that normally comes off the bench. And then Zach Burnham, who is also normally a bench player, will get his start here. It's right there. We'll see what they do to set up the offense. Slowing it down here. Now bring it up to the top of the key. Tries to cross him up, but a steal there and a turnover. And almost a block there by Watkins. But number 10, Serge Valdielmilos, adds another two points to his night. You know, Rodriguez, you know, he's put in a lot of time and a lot of minutes the past couple games, and it lo really looks like right now it's wearing on him. Langford with a three. Put it in your pocket. He is hot tonight. That's his 14th point of the game. But as I was saying in the beginning of the game, these other guys on the team are really stepping up. Langford coming in here on fire. He's got the hot hand. And Rodriguez is really looking for him now. You know, he might not be on his A game like he normally is, but he's really looking for Langburn, and he's making it up with those threes. Well, and you know, Jack, he only averages 5.8 a game throughout the season, so 
really big bonus for them, especially with all the injured players. Yeah, I mean, Coach Carr must have saw something. He's starting for the past two games, and it looked, I mean, he comes out here and... Let's see what Diana has to say on the court. It's been an, an exciting game today. Let's hear from PLNU's Green Sea. How do you feel about the progress of today, tonight's game? I feel like the progress is going pretty well. And is there anyone in particular you came out here to support? Indeed there is, actually. Uh, I'm here for Tanner Lancona, uh, more commonly known as Tan Man. Um, I'm here for him. Great, wonderful to hear. Jack, it's still only a five-point game. You'd think that one of these teams is going to start to go on a roll and maybe for Art U kind of close the gap a little more or for the C-Lines to kind of just jump up and take a lead. You know, the start of this half, Art U really came out strong, really took the momentum there, but Point Loma actually recovered, made a couple threes here, a couple twos, and now they're back in it. And I, like I said earlier, it's up in the air right now what team is going to take, take control of this game. And, Right now, it's it's anybody's game, to be honest. Well, the possession arrow is in Art U's hand, so they will start with the ball here with 14:52 left in the second half. It's just been a it's been a dogfight so far. Just a lot of just really tough energy put in by both teams. So we'll see who can kind of bear down and really dig deep, get some heart, and go forward for the rest of this half. Yeah, you got to commend these guys, though, on Point Loma's team. You know, with seven players suited up today, I mean, they're they're giving it everything they got with the lead right now by five. I mean, it's not easy to keep these leads and play all these minutes, and they're doing it, and they're doing it pretty well. Oh. Oh. Okanemi fouled by Lancona, but can't get it to fall, so he'll go to the line for two. Those will be... This will be his first free throw attempt of the game. He is a normal 78% free throw shooter, so you can pretty much count on him to sink both of these. And he does sink the first one there. Chris Salas and Chase Harrison are back on defense there. Only two guys in for Academy of Art for the rebound. Yeah, Chris Salas started off the, the game second. pretty hot. Kind of cooled down since then. We'll see if they, you know, incorporate him here in the offense in the upcoming minutes. Yeah, well, he is leading the team with 11, excuse me, 13 points. There's a skirmish there. Watkins seems to be fouled here. Coach Carr once again pleading his case for his players, trying to jump in the ref's face, maybe get something uh, on their side. What do you think? I mean, you knew the physical play was going to come. Just a matter of when. So Langboard inbounds the ball here to Watkins, who slides underneath the defense, out top on the key here. Langboard shot fake. He's been a quick trigger so far this game. Burn him out to Langboard again for a three wow. and drains it. Wow. He's got the hot hand, I must say. Keep feeding that guy the ball. The freshman is on fire. He has 17. Don't think we thought that freshman was going to have 17. He's tonight. having a career game right now. I'm excited for him. I'm, I'm sure the fans are excited for him right now, too. Keep feeding that guy the ball. He's doing pretty well. I'm pretty sure we thought the other freshman, Rodriguez, was going to be up high in the numbers. But no, it's Langboard, and I'm sure he's having fun. I, Hope his parents are here. I mean, he's going to give Rodriguez, uh, you know, a run for his money here in the upcoming uh, Watkins with the West Player of the Week. He will, and Watkins there with a big layup in transition. So now the Sea Lions might be starting to pull away up by eight here with 13:40 left in the game. Out to number four for the shot for the three high arc and drays it, Marshawn you know, McMahon. You know, right when you think one of the teams is going to pull away, that's a big shot by RU. Very clutch there. They needed that little momentum swing in order to get, you know, some points on the board and the ball back in their favor. And there you go, Point Loma makes a mistake, and now RU coming back right, right there and then. Really just not a very smart play from Lancona there. 
picked up his dribble too early. So Chase Harrison to Okanemi, he'll bring the ball up. Now the lead's only five after that three ball by Art Yu, who's now four for 10 on the game, whereas the Sea Lions are nine for 20. Okanemi with the shot. Foul underneath the hoop. Lancona to inbounds the ball to Watkins here. That foul was on the leading scourge, Chris Salas for the Academy of Art Urban Knights. Yeah, I mean, Art U's doing a pretty good job of, uh, of, of their shooting right now with a 53%. And there's another clip. steal. Oh, going to be in transition. A very late call for the foul. And he Quinn Loma takes on uh, number four seed, Cal Baptist on Friday. I I'm gonna guess that that's gonna draw a big crowd. I, I believe it will too. It, you know, last year they got to play on Fox Sports and they had a huge crowd out here, yeah. filled the entire gym with some promotions. So you gotta imagine that's gonna be the same scenario. It's gonna be a really tough matchup for them. Oh, it's gonna be a tough matchup. Let's hope some guys get a little more healthy for that win. They're gonna, they're gonna need everyone in that game. Yeah, last year's game came down to the last seconds. This Sea Lions lost by two at home to Calbab, who was ranked nationally at the time as well. Really a powerhouse. Oh yeah, I mean they have been for a long, uh, for a while now. But as long with APU, I mean they they proved that they could play with the big guys, regardless of how many players they have healthy. I mean they only lost by a few points to APU last week, and they're top seed. Harrison with his first in and consecutive trips to the line here on back-to-back -back possessions. But it's kind of crazy to think that a team in the conference like Cal Bap can dominate so much, and they do in so many different sports. And that's the crazy thing, I think, is that they have good players in every sport. You got, you got to commend their recruiting, you got to commend every sport, their front office, everything they got over there. Well, and you think about facilities, which they have beautiful ones, and we have seen that Point Loma is trying to institute a bunch of new facilities here. As Bonetta splashes another three from the outside. Great praise from the student body there. That's a big shot for him, you know. That's three points. There's only a four point game before that shot. But Point Loma is attempting to put a million dollars into athletic facilities as there's a big three in response by number 12, Nick Carey. Gonna really, uh, that's gonna really help the Urban Knights. This guy, we got a close game on our hands right now. Four point game, Urban Knights are coming back. <laughs> College basketball, am I right? I mean, you blink for one second and then you got a 10 point swing. Chad Watkins with the ball underneath the hoop. Looking for Planeta out top as he finds him. You know, planeta has been fantastic tonight, really. Oh yeah, except he really for, has. Except for a couple mistakes. Oh. I'm really surprised the Knights didn't get that call after what happened a couple minutes ago. I thought they were going to get that one. It looks like it may have been charged. Yeah, I think there might be some ulcers growing over here in the coaches. <laughs> <laughs> they are they are voicing their displeasure loudly. Yeah, you know, they're even. So, it's uh it hasn't the ball hasn't really rolled the Knights way tonight. In, in regards to foul calls. Oh no, the foul calls, I, you know, you gotta, you gotta watch. And as the game progresses, you see all these calls and you're like, wow, I, I feel like they could get more calls than they have, but you know yeah. what, for, you know, it works in the point and home away. And then you, I guess it, it, it's okay. Hey, and then you talk about free throws though. You sink oh. your free throws late in the game. And then if you don't sink your free throws late in the game and you get these bad calls, you're just gonna like, it. You're getting some serious frustration from the coach. And staff. I mean, that's why you practice free throws all the time. <laughs> Players might get sick of them because you shoot hundreds and hundreds of free throws, but you cannot let any free throw go in the waste. You know, you get you you get the opportunity to shoot free throws. You know, two minutes into the game, you got to act like those is you know those free throws count for the last two minutes of the whole entire game. It, it, it's that big of a deal. Yeah. Well, they've managed to shoot 69% from the free throw line, only a couple percent behind the sea lines. But when you're losing late in the game, on the road, you need those. You yeah, need you those. really do. You mean the, the, road, the road thing's a big deal. I mean, as you see the fans, they're, they're getting 
They're, they're laying back. For... They're having a good time. <laughs> they're getting ready for this last hey, this couple is, minutes here. This is San Diego. We're <laughs> relaxed. We're having a good time. We've got three minutes left. Enjoying the game. Reading a book. Reading a book. <laughs> hey, ma'am, you know we got a four-point game on our hands. I don't think she knows. Maybe we, sh maybe someone should get in the stands and tell her. You've been quietly great tonight. Doing a lot of different things, making a couple threes, driving to the hole. Had a couple turnovers early on in the second half, but you know he's come alive here, making those couple threes early on. Yeah, so that's 16 on the game for him. Yeah, and you're right, very quietly. But Artu brings ball up quick. Okanemi out top to Chase Harrison, who drives in. Okanemi with the up and under, nice play. Puts it in. This is 11 on the night for him, and Rodriguez is fouled. So we'll see what the freshman can do at the line. He kind of struggled tonight there. Well, let's see what happens. Does he have ice in his veins, Connor? I think I think he does. Yeah, I mean, we'll find out pretty soon here. I mean, they're uh, they're down by six. Art U is. I mean, these are pretty critical free throws. Art U can get the rebound and get a quick three or a transition two, and you know they're right back in it. You think they have a little Reggie Miller up their sleeve or what? I mean, we'll see. I don't know about Reggie Miller. I don't want to, you know, diss the great, but maybe something close. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, Reggie Miller managed to score 11 points in the last 12 seconds of one game. So, we won't uh, be seeing that. I don't think we will either, but dish there to Chris Salas, who finds himself on the board again. That was quick, too. That's, a, that's the second one in a row here. You know, the Sea Lions got to play a little better defense than that. Well, Planeta go back to the line. He's hoping for another two. He likes. He wants it. He wants to pad his stats a little bit at the end of the game. Yeah, I mean, you know, he's had. He deserves. It. He's, he's a baseball a, player. Yeah, he I loves pounding. It. He loves <laughs> padding his stats. <laughs> he's a stat guy. I mean, who is it? Well, he'll go to the line for two again, as he has 16 on the night and is two for two from the free throw line so far. Make that three for three. Excuse me. Yeah, I mean, he's the guy that you want the line right now. He looks pretty good up there. He looks confident, and he's going to be drained. He's, he's an older throws. guy. He's an older guy. Yeah. He, you know, he's been there. He's played professional baseball. He's He's been through the pressures of the game. Yeah. Okay, I mean, driving in again. And they will choose to foul Planeta again. I'm, they're just they're picking the wrong guy. Yeah, these shots actually the last two free throws put Planeta as uh, the team leader here on points uh, with 18 and counting. So uh, he might have a chance to get himself to a 20 point game. Yeah, it's safe to say that you know this this game looks pretty out of hand now for Art U unless something crazy happens. But you know you never know. But. It was closer than the score shows. I mean, it was a good game from start to finish. Both teams really brought everything. It was a good battle. Was, there's a lot of toughness from each team. You know, it's been a tough season for Art U, but they're tough. They, they're going to have a chance to really compete in the future, I think. As the three balls off, Lancona comes down hard oh, on that's his elbow. That's not what you want to see. But he's quick to hop up with the help from his teammates. Big sigh of relief's coming from the uh, Point Loma Sea Lion bench over there. He's tough. He plays hockey, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got a lot of multi-sport athletes here on the Sea Lions. <laughs> I don't think he plays hockey, but we'll pretend. Hockey's a great sport, by the way. Yeah, my partner Jack is a big fan of the Ducks. How have they been doing lately? Now they won today, 6-4 uh, to four over the Calgary Flames. That's a two-game win streak. That's not that's not a very big win streak, Jack. Yeah, they're on an eight road, uh, eight game road series, so it's pretty big. It's they just beat the Blackhawks, and uh, they're looking pretty good. Uprising team, they're second in the West, so it's pretty good. Well, as Lane Cunha misses that last one, big deep three off the front of the rim, Salas outside to Kobe Williams, who drains the three with five seconds left. This is pretty much the ball game as Rodell will pass it into Burnham. And he he jokes with his coach as he pretends to shoot at the end of the game. And uh, he kind of smiles and sigh of relief as the two will come down. And the Sea Lions will move to 13 and 10 on the season, seven and six at home, and 500 in conference play. Yeah, you could close the refrigerator on that one, Connor. That looks like a good W for the seven C Lions that suited up today. I'm really proud of these guys, you know, coming out here, doing their thing with a, such a small lineup. It's just so exciting to see them. 
Yeah, so really good effort from the Academy of Arts squad, excuse me, but, you know, Got to gotta love that sea line. Seven guys managed to get out of the way. So I mean, you're playing with heart. We're they're playing with a lot of heart. We're going to throw it over to our courtside reporter, Diana Aguilar, who will be meeting with uh, star of the night, 20-point scorer, Mike Planeta. So here it is from Diana. Hi, Mike. Um, we're just wondering, how are you able to score so many points? <laughs> Uh, it starts with my teammates. I mean, uh, we have a great facilitator in Josh. He gets us open shots, and it's, I mean, we have the easy part. We just got to knock him down. So. Okay, great. And what are you looking forward to for Friday's game? Big game. Cal Baptist is always a, a top team in the conference, and um, you know, if we take him down, that's a huge win for us. Keeps us in the hunt. So, um, just come prepared and execute like we do, and we'll be all right. All right. Great to hear. Good luck. Thank you. Win for Point Loma. Both teams played very well. Close game very the good. entire second half. Definitely. But the it was a nail biter. Lions, True it, nail biter. It really was. <laughs> yeah. On the edge of my seat, the Sea Lions came out on top with a final score of 78 to 70. Definitely. And uh, that must feel really good after a couple losses on the road and stuff. So, you know, just dominating back that's at right. home court. That's really awesome. Yeah. Well, um, that's all we have for you guys tonight for this broadcast. I'm Ross Niederhoff. And I'm Marissa Hornaday. Thank make you for watching. Definitely. Make sure to join us next time on Friday the 19th for our next edition of Loma Sports Tonight. Have a great evening. Good night.